Hi guys, today I thought I would show you this DIY CD sign and it's really cool and I hope you guys enjoy. You're gonna need about 16 CDs, a magazine, a hot glue gun, and black acrylic paint. Next you're gonna need any kind of paper. I went with this Crayola sticker paper. It's this like cool metallic silver color and it reflects all different, like a rainbow kind of color. You can purchase this at pretty much anywhere. I got this from Target and it's sticker so you, you can just peel off the back and stick it onto it. But if you do not want to use that, you can just use white or black or color, you know, just whatever. When you start gluing your CDs, you want to take the hot glue gun and put the glue from the center hole and drag it all the way out to the edge and then take your CD and press the, the first, the second CD's edge to the, where the glue starts. Sorry, that was kind of confusing, but just watch and you'll kind of get it. Again, just glue from the center CD hole to drag the glue out to the edge and just do two strips of that and then take the second CD and place the edge of it where the, sec where the first CD's hole starts, if you kind of get that. Once you're done, you should get up eight CDs in a row and it should kind of look like this. And you should repeat this step again so you get two uh, things of eight CDs glued together. Next, just take in the metallic colored paper and the black piece of paper. I'm trying to take the back of the sticker paper, the metallic paper. It's a sticker, so I'm just taking the back off of that. And then once you take the back off, it's sticky, so I'm just setting it on top of the CD strips to hold them together, like so. You just want to do this step twice, so there's two pieces of paper, a sticker paper holding the two CDs together. And if you don't get into the sticker paper, you can just hop the regular paper on top of it. Once the sticker paper is on top, you want to take a regular piece of paper and put it on the back of the sticker paper so it sticks to the paper and kind of holds it together so the paper is not sticky anymore to the touch. And this will also just help secure the CDs. And if you did not use sticker paper, you can just um, hot glue paper onto the front of it and you don't need to do anything to the back. Next, you're gonna need a paintbrush and then the black acrylic paint. And I'm just putting the black paint onto a piece of paper, kind of acting as a palette. And now you can just paint whatever kind of word you're saying you want on your board. But I just decided to just to spell. Can you guess? I just wrote be different. Kind of just jazz it up a little bit. I took the black paint and I painted the inner rims of the CDs black. You can paint any color, or you don't even have to paint it. I just thought it made it look a little bit cooler. This is just what it looks like when it's done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I thought this was a really cool DIY and I came up with this all by myself. So be sure to try it out and comment what you think. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe for more.